Hi, good morning everyone. Julia here from Shining Star Readings and I'm here to do your weekly forecast reading for the week beginning Monday, February the 2nd all the way through to Sunday, February the 8th. So, I'm using the colour Faulkner Tarot this week. Now remember guys, this is one of the decks that I teach with. So, if any of you out there are a little bit intrigued by the cards and by tarot and maybe you want to start your own journey, you know, drop me a message. I have got some spaces available, daytime or evening or weekends at the moment, okay? So, let's see what cards are going to come out for us this week. Okay, that one wants to come out for Monday and Tuesday. Let's have a card for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday without dropping the entire deck. Wednesday and Thursday, we need a card. What's the feel going to be like? Okay, and then a final card for the weekend. Friday, Saturday and Sunday. That one wants to come out. Okay, so we've got our three cards. Let's have a look, see what the week has in store for us. So, first card out for Monday and Tuesday is the Moon card. Okay, now this is actually a picture of the sun setting. Reason being, um, Rhiannon, creator of the deck, Rhiannon Faulkner, does not do the moon. Okay, so she decided that when she created this new deck a year ago, and actually coming up to the first birthday, February the 14th, um, she decided to have the sun setting. So, same meaning though, you know, exactly the same as the moon. You know, when the sun goes down, we get the darkness. And it's almost as if we can't quite see clearly at the moment. It is the card of caution. And it's telling us that we've got to let the situation that we find ourselves in just a little bit of time to evolve. It's like anything, isn't it? You know, we, we always say, don't make decisions late at night always wait for that morning sun see how you feel in the morning okay um as i look at this card i'm sort of drawn to the shadows down here which are actually people so you know you might be being cautious about someone around you okay you know this card sometimes in a reading can talk about that bitchiness that backstabbing you know it's it really is the card of caution and the best thing to do is to do what the card says. Let the situation evolve. Okay? Um, because I just think that, you know, by the light of day, we're going to either see things more clearly or things are going to start to unfold. Alright, so that's what I need to tell you for the moon card. Now, let's have a look at Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. So... Here we have our Knight of Swords. Now, the Swords energy are the star signs of Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. And Knights are male or female between the ages of 18 and 30. So, they're very hard workers actually, our Knight of Swords. Um, you know, head down, they know what they want. Um, it's all about the brain with the swords family. That's the easiest way I think I can describe. And, you know, with the sword, they kind of cut through anything. Um, they're also very good at, I guess, weighing up the pros, the cons, things like that. You know, and you find out more about this as they go into adulthood, sort of 30 years and over. So, very strong, very assertive characters, these guys. So, however... There are good and bad sides to our Knight of Swords. Depends on the parenting, okay? So if you've been brought up to be good, to know right from wrong, then brilliant. But maybe if you haven't had the best parenting, this is where almost this sort of little bit of a bad boy image, I guess, comes into play. A little bit shifty. Again, still very assertive, very, very bright, but maybe a little bit shady sometimes. Now, that's the actual Knight of Swords if we're going to be talking about them as a person. 
What if this card is talking about a situation and an event that's going on in life? What does the Knight of Swords tell us? Well, it simply tells us that change is coming, swift changed, okay, more often than not. Um, can bring a certain amount of chaos. Now, I always say, is it going to be good chaos or bad chaos? And in a reading, the cards following that will give me a little bit more information. Okay, so may also indicate that there's somebody coming in around you on Wednesday and Thursday that you need to be looking out for. Okay, now as I'm looking at the card, what's jumping out the most for me is the blue that you can just see in the background there of the swimming pool. Okay, so blue could be linked into our emotions. It can also be linked into our throat chakra. Okay, so maybe we are having to speak our minds, you know, cut through everything to get our point across this week. Okay, but I do feel that there's going to be an awful lot of heartfelt talk as well this week because there's a lot of green in this card and green is very much linked to our heart chakras. So there we go. Let's see what we have in store for the weekend. So here we have the Five of Cups. So this is for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Now, this card is very much about maybe just taking a little bit of time out, taking a, a step back from the crowd. Okay, maybe it is a time where we are feeling a little bit disappointed within a situation. Okay, maybe there's a situation going on around you that is one sided, whether it be a home, work, love situation. So it's almost as if, you know, we're just taking stock with this card. We're contemplating our thoughts and maybe what our next step or our next move is actually going to be. And again, I'm seeing the blue in the swimming pool. So again, there seems to be a lot of emphasis this week around communication and emotions. Now, all fives in the Faulkner Tarot are karmic cards. And what do I mean by karmic? Well, if you've cheated, messed up, whatever, in a bad sense, that has to come back. But if you've done really good things for other people, then you get to receive that back as well. Basically, what you send out, you, you get back. Okay, so, lots of contemplation, I feel, as we're going into the weekend. All right, I do feel that we've got security, we've got stability, but we're just almost weighing up our options. What What is going to be going on around us? What's the next thing that we need to do or the next thing that we need to be thinking about? Okay, so it can be quite a sad, quite an emotional feeling to this card. Um, because at the end of the day, if this is something that you're contemplating maybe giving something another chance or maybe ending it, it's going to be sad. Emotions are tough. All right. So just remember, sometimes we just need to take a little bit of time out. Okay. You know, we can turn things around depending on our situation. So bit of a funny old week this week, aren't they? You know, with the moon first and then the knight of swords and the five of cups. Um, just be kind to yourselves this week, guys. I want to say just give yourself a little bit of time, beginning of the week, and then maybe just, you know, think about those words, think about those communications, um, possibly before we move on into the weekend. And maybe we, we still need more time. Maybe we make that decision. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, Please feel free to share, like, comment with anybody else um, who you think might find this video useful to them. And thank you for watching and I will see you next week. Take care now. Bye.